The EU's health commissioner, Stella Kyriakides, has hit out a drug maker AstraZeneca about its expected vaccine supply shortages. She says the EU is demanding that the company sticks to its contractual obligations despite the delays. The pharmaceutical company told the EU on Friday it could not meet its agreed supply targets up to the end of March. As Darren McCaffrey reports, shipments of the shot are expected to drop by 60%. Angry and looking for answers, Ursula von der Leyen has spoken with the head of AstraZeneca to demand that the pharmaceutical giant must meet its contractual obligations in delivering supplies of the COVID-19 vaccine. It follows an announcement at the weekend the countries would receive less than half the number of expected doses in the coming weeks after approval of the vaccine, which is expected on Friday. This is news that uh, was uh, not very much appreciated by the Commission and Member States because uh, we have attached a lot of importance to the correct delivery of the different vaccines. Member States have a very important task ahead of them and are already working on the vaccination. This requires the delivery of the vaccines. So on the basis of this announcement, now uh, and the reaction of uh, the Commissioner and also the phone call between the President of the Commission and the company, we are going to take it forward now in the context of the steering board. AstraZeneca blamed the problem on reduced production at a manufacturing site within its European supply chain. It followed a similar announcement from Pfizer, leading Italy to claim it may well start legal proceedings against both companies. Meanwhile, the EU has also updated its travel advice, adding a dark red to its COVID map, indicating areas where the virus is circulating at very high levels, and suggesting that member states should now require travellers to undergo a test before arrival and quarantine. Yes, the European Commission has been tolerating uh, major restrictions to the free movement, which were not necessarily substantiated in epidemiological terms. The Commission has been very cautious in going after those countries who were adopting those restrictions, and now, in a way, is coming very late. At the same time, it is this opportunity provided by the variants, these new variants, which might render more transmissible and therefore lead to more infections that... Uh, has been seized as an opportunity for the Commission to potentially uh, fix uh, the past mistakes. The Commission today insists that the vaccination programme is going very well. But in the midst of a slow start across the continent, voters are starting to look to Brussels for answers too. Darren McCaffrey, Euronews, Brussels. And Darren is standing by for us in Brussels. Darren, strong words and strong demands from the EU's health commissioner this evening. Yeah, indeed. Flipping furious, I think it's fair to sum up uh, the mood here in Brussels tonight with AstraZeneca. Uh, given that decision over the weekend to publicly state that they would be supplying significantly fewer vaccines than had been expected across all 27 member uh, states, the EU Health Commissioner uh, tonight saying uh, that there will be a second phone call between the Commission and the AstraZeneca boss to try and work out how this can be resolved. And additionally, uh, they're calling on the company to essentially release... How how many vaccines have been made and who they may well have gone to. And in addition uh, to that, that all companies producing vaccines with inside the European Union in relation to COVID-19 will have to provide early notification when they want to export those vaccines outside of the Union. Now, why is the EU furious? Well, it's furious because, of course, it may well have to rely on these vaccines in future, as I say. Uh, the AstraZeneca one has not yet been approved, though the expectation is that could happen as early as Friday. But also that the EU not just paid money up front for these vaccines, they also provided hundreds of millions of additional funding so that the company could ramp up its production uh, from uh, the autumn onwards. And there are those questions that how come supply has not been interrupted, for example, to the United Kingdom? Why is it being interrupted to the European Union? So far, uh, according to the EU Health Commissioner, the answers from the company have not been satisfactory. This is turning into a major row that's really, really important because, as I say, to date, there's been much criticism of the EU's vaccination rollout and how slow it's been in relative terms compared to Israel, the UK and the US.